A few weeks later, we were invited to come and watch a match with Gorka in the Mr. Penton Supporters Club in London. Athletic were facing their hated Madrilino rivals, Atletico. On a brisk spring evening in Fitzrovia, we met with Salvador Acha, Gorka's co-founder of the Mr. Pentland Club. So, um, here we are. So, please introduce yourself. Why don't you start? Why don't you introduce yourself? Well, my, my name is Salvador Acha. I'm a chairman of the Mr. Pentland Club here in London and a proud supporter of Athletic for over a dozen years. And, and where are you from originally? You're a Basque? Uh, Mexico. I'm from Mexico. I don't know if I'm Basque. Uh, my surname is Basque. And even though there's not a direct link, I feel part of me is Basque and I'm very proud to support Athletic. Athletic has always been identified to English culture because the English brought the football to Bob. The tradition says that in the 30s, when Mr. Pembroke Club was running the team, whenever an important match was won, the players would take the bowler hat from his head and step on it and just make a mock of his English tradition. And uh, what we do is that after every match, if we win, we take the bowler hat and we step on it as well. So is, is, is that kind of to the stuffy kind of image that the, 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 Basque, the Basque people say, you know, don't be so stuffy with one, you can celebrate and relax. Yeah, yeah, relax, don't take it too serious. And, and that's, that's a little bit about, uh, well, the Basque people take themselves usually very serious people, very formal. I guess that comes from the English heritage, but after a while when they lose themselves, you know, they're very uh, joyful people and very friendly. We, we saw that when we were there for the, the yeah. national team game, the, uh, yeah. the Sammy Mayors, and everyone was kind of partying, the kids were kind of setting off fireworks, and you had Sociedad fans and Athletic fans all together, and Osasuna fans as well, kind of partying. Well, t tonight's game is, is a kind of crucial one, I suppose. It's a top of the table kind of clash. And what does it mean for the season now, this, 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 this game? I, I think it's an important match. I mean, we've done a very good season. Last season was uh, very chaotic. Uh, this year, the players, the coach, the fans have been all together. We've been enjoying uh, the club performance. It's been really good. I think this match is just a, a, a test, a test of proving is Athletic ready to compete with a Champions League caliber team. And if we win or we lose, I really, really doesn't matter. The important thing is to compete and be proud of, of our philosophy. So here we're walking off to the second bar now, so after this pub crawl, um, to go to go and watch uh, Athletic Fitz. Uh, and, and, and what's your name? Alicia. 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 curious. We went to see the the Scouts Alexia game for Christmas. Um, do, do you, do you, are you interested in the national team? Yeah, when, I, when I'm there, I, I usually go to see Scouts Alexia games. It's kind of a party at Christmas. As well, yeah, it's, it's kind yeah. of a party, and I think. Uh, I'm jealous uh, because, for example, Wales and Scotland, are the, they are playing with their own team and we cannot play with the So you'd really, like to, you'd really yeah, like to be official because their banner was we want to be official, want to be recognised. I want, I, yeah, I want to be official. So what do you think of the, the Scottish independence is a big thing here, they're having a vote? It's a big thing because uh, they, can choose. They, have to, they have the chance to choose if they want to be or not. Then if it, if and you they, relate to that, you say, feel very... Yeah, if people say no, it's okay. If they, if they say yeah, it's okay. But we don't have the chance. Are uh, you excited for tonight? Do you think you can win? I, I think we can win because I think uh, Atletico is a really hard uh, uh, team, but I think we can, we can beat them. Because in some of I think we can beat Anyone. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Stan, nice to meet you. We're here watching Athletic versus Atletico Madrid. 1-1. One, one. Good game? Yeah. Do you think you can win? Maybe. Probably. probably hopefully. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Are you from London or from Bilbao? I'm from Madrid. From Madrid? Do you like being an Athletic fan? Do you like that the players are, are, are local? It's kind of a different identity, say, to Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid? Yeah, because it shows, shows like you're more better because you know you see people all the Team. If because you, you're from Madrid, you don't do you like Real Madrid as well? Secretly? Um no. No, your dad won't let you. No, because <laughs> they don't have any they have small amount of Spanish and then they have 
So you, you think Atletico are a better team to support because because yeah. their players are local? And the atmosphere for them. For me, we are the best uh, supporters in the world. The atmosphere today, but we're sitting there, the stadium is not even finished. There's only 30,000, there's 20,000 more. Finish. And the, the whistling for the penalty decision was... Yeah. They always say other Spanish teams that the athletic uh, supporters, they are really nice and they are always supporting even when they are lost. You see? But for, for me, I was surprised when... Uh, uh, who was sent off? It, 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 uh, Laporte. Laporte was sent off, yeah, the French fans. French fans. Iparralde. Iparralde. The applauding. Everybody downstairs was applauding him. In England, no one would applaud someone to no. be set off. No, you made a mistake. You made, you've done badly. Yeah. So, no applause. so, one final question then. Yeah. What does it mean to you to be, to be Basque and to be an athletic fan? What does it mean to you? How important is it? Some people, they don't know. Like, they don't like football, they don't understand. For me, athletic is like, I don't know, something I, I, I will always uh, support. And it's like a, it's in your heart. Like, yeah, it's in my heart. It's like a special feeling. So, what a game! Tell us about the game. What happened? Well, it was a good game. It was, it was, it was highly, you know, competitive game. I think we, 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 we lost, obviously, but it was, you know, we competed well. I thought, you know, the main thing for us, for, for the club, is that we're fighting. And is the Champions League qualification the most important aspect for this season? Well, I think realistically, the Champions League is what every club aspires to in the, in the continent, doesn't it? So, I, I don't think I've led to club has to be any. Any, any difference in that. But just in terms of supporting the Cantera, does that extra money mean that you know you, you, you think you can look further ahead, do a longer term plan, and keep concentrating developing the players, and, and like you said before, bring the better best players back? The money is important, there's no question about that. It's fun, but I think at the end of the day, and this may be a bit of a stereotype, but it's not just the money. I mean, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the fact that you're, about, you're up there competing against the best teams in Europe, and it's the ambition. I mean, when a lot of players, and this has been a, a problem we face, the last couple of years, as you know, a lot of players wanted to be being tempted by some, by some of the bigger clubs in Europe. And, and you know, inevitably they, they say, you know, it's not about the money, it's about winning titles, it's about being seen to be, to, to be competing against the best in, in the world. And, and that is, at the end of the day, that is a challenge at this stage. We don't want to lose players because of that. We want to, as we were not that long ago, competing with the best in Europe and, and you know, being seen as one of the bigger teams in the continent. And so people like Munyain, who's got a fantastic goal today, a fantastic finish, you know, so he's the kind of guy who is more likely to stay for the like, year in the Champions League. Exactly. And in terms of identity, is is that how linked is that is that to, to Bilbao and to the Basque country that you know this is the kind of standard bearer kind of club for, for the region? I think identity is also a competitive strength. I mean identity is also a factor that, that helps those guys do better. You know, I mean that sense of belonging, that sense of identity, that sense of you know the representing a club but also a nation, a region at the end of the day does help them compete better. So let's not let's not forget that. I mean it does it is it is a valuable competitive advantage.